there for uh, our third round, race one, NV Motorcycles Super Motard. And uh, unfortunately, he didn't get down the pits, and Whitey didn't come up uh, to tell us how he tucked that front again, which he's uh, quite prominent in doing. But uh, he's back out there starting from pole position, and this will be another good little race again. Yeah, looks like he got away all right this time. But yeah, like we said in the in the in our last one before, he just uh, lost the front out of turn three. So yeah, he'll be hungry for a race win here for sure. Definitely. Coach Scott here on that uh, CRF 50. He's been dynoing the heck out of uh, what he's singing. It's a missile, that thing in a straight line. Coach's uh, 450 seems to be keeping him honest. There's nothing in it as they uh, start climbing up the front straight here. So we got we went outside before and the sun's come up and the track conditions look pretty good so should be a, a real good dust up in this one. Yeah, coach got definitely still the advantage into the up and over the turn two and three. But uh, Whitey's stalking him and probably gonna have a look to dive down into high pool. That's what Coach was saying down at Manfield. Um, you can't leave the door open with Whitey. Whitey will throw one in there. So uh, those two switching around, that's what we uh, turn up to watch is good racing. but uh, still got a real good race going on out in front. Uh, Kudge has modified his thing. Whitey's thing's still pretty standard. It's got a hot motor in it, but uh, suspension-wise, he hasn't done anything with the suspension. Uh, still going to Scotty Wilkins. Unbelievable bike. They're changing steering head angles. They're lowering the things down, shortening the travel, widening the swing arms, and modifying them. Um, they have to, unfortunately, do that with the Japanese models, like the CRFs and the KXFs and stuff like that. But uh, if you go on, front straight this will be definitely side by side again they'll be able to touch each other's handle <laughs> old uh, coach Scott. Been around for a number of years. I remember when I first started in 1987. <laughs> Motocross bike. They used to call them truck chasers back then, before Super Motard ever got invented.
0.37. So. 17.7s. They're getting faster and faster. The two of them are just going at it, aren't they? This is brilliant. Into turn two and three, the up and over. Nothing between them. Still coped with the advantage, but Whitey gets a great little drive out of turn three, and he's looking into high ball. Yeah, there he is. I think he's got him into high ball there and heading down towards Porsche. They're going to Porsche together pretty much. This is awesome. And it is Whitey. Whitey has the advantage. He's had this in a couple of laps. That's gold. That's awesome. There you go. Well, he runs a little bit wide down into six into the last corner. And I think that's where Kudge gets a little bit better drive. Oh, oh here comes oh, Kudge. It's going to be Kudge. tight. He's got a good little run on him. Boyd there in third position, Tony Herney in fourth, Mike Kyle making fifth, Luke Caprol there in sixth, and we're just, oh, no, we've got Godfrey De Swartz and he's out. <laughs> say uh jared there's a, a smaller field but that's some high quality racing with only uh, seven guys in it looking forward to that uh what he was just confirming that he's going to be doing the tri-series as well but uh there's so many other ones that come along like uh jay and uh, some oh, 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 